Take it on. <laughs> uh, I'm co-president of the United Nations Association of the USA Pacific Los Angeles Chapter, which is basically the chapter south of the San Fernando Valley, Santa Monica, all the way down to San Pedro. And what we do is educate the community uh, on the goals of the United Nations. And we put on um, major events um, throughout the year, especially for women's rights and United uh, uh, and Human Rights Day and United Nations Day as well. And then we also support other various uh, peace uh, activities like Peace Sunday. Uh, today is very special because uh, we are definitely always promoting women's rights. Also, the creativity of women and um, that the, the voice of women are heard, that their creativity is seen and appreciated, and uh, we definitely support that, and we want the community to know more, and this is just such a wonderful event today that we're so uh, grateful to be a part of. So thank you so much for coming out, um, and I've been enjoying meeting a lot of you so far, and more to meet. But um, we also um, would like you to join our chapter, especially uh, being a like-minded person and support the efforts of the United Nations, which among many goals, uh, including peace, is definitely women's rights. And we need to make sure worldwide that women's rights are promoted, and uh, both men and women. And we do have men that are joining us in, in this effort, and we do appreciate that because that's so important as well. So very nice to see you, and it's a wonderful um, show today. I mean, I've, I've just been amazed at the creativity here, the artwork, and uh, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Photographer Susan, our latest actually acquirement for our gallery. On this. Actually, the truth is, I'm not a photographer. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, the, what you'll see are photographs, but basically, very long story short, many, many years ago, um, I, I, was a, I was a dancer and a performer for many years, and just didn't want to perform anymore. And I went off to New Mexico to do my own art and to meditate and to um, figure it out. And and there was that first war of Father Bush war down. It was happening there in the Middle East. And I just was living in the desert, and I was thinking of these women out there struggling for their lives. All of these cloaked women throughout history, you know, the cloaked women throughout history who were both worshipped, they call her the Holy Mother, they call her Our Lady of Sorrow. They're running for their lives in the desert right now, hiding their children inside of their burkas or whatever. I mean, you know, and, and so I started doing this project, and you'll see some of the images on the wall, the one where I'm floating, impossible surrender, possible possibility of peace uh, inwardly and on this earth, and then you'll see a couple of them over there where I was in Abiquiu, New Mexico, and I just... You know, and there's lots more more connected to the the political feelings, but these are more of the essence feeling of connected with the earth and taking the energy from the earth and just being able to surrender to it, and also the possibility of of coming out and using the energy of it to to gesture forward towards bringing us all together and the possibility of of peace and love and about sculptures. Mm -hmm. Yes, now I want to talk about my yeah. sculptures. Um, I've been doing sculpture and painting for only about three years now. So it was something that came in my later life after I had raised my kids and worked and done all those things. All of those uh, this entrance room and it's beautiful collage, right? It's collage. I'm delighted to be here. I have my notes that float here. There are three of the 18 in the series so far because I put all the arts together, the music, the painting, the writing, and of course knowing that it heals us to create and heals others as we share it. I do kids workshops at Park La Brea and I've written and illustrated three children's books that you're welcome to see online and there's a lot to say but I want to give time to everyone and just thank Larissa and Mark for the opportunity to be here with all of you. This just feels wonderful uh, today. I'm Lillian Abel, and my work is about what we can't see. It's about the energy that is everywhere that we need to get in touch with. 
uh, that we're out of touch. in the work. Mine is the one when you first come around yeah. the corner Mother. in there. It's called Mother of All That Matters because, well, women, we are the mother of all that matters, everything. Yeah. And I've been drawing ever since I was a little girl, and I'm finally doing something with my art because all of my friends ganged up on me and told me to bring it into the world and do something. And now I am. Thank you. Because I think uh, it's California, <laughs> and uh, you can uh, see my uh, piece in the last uh, room. It's uh, with yellow one, and uh, I uh, work in abstract uh, style, and I experiment with color, dynamic, and uh, some try something image uh, to help people understand uh, themselves better. Enjoy. I like this. Mm -hmm. This is here. Uh, my name is Gabrielle. I'm, I'm from Germany. I got, got here about 14 years ago. I started as a representational artist. I moved away from that. Um, I'm still in the process of working and working, and I think just being in the process is very important to me. It's not about the finished product. Therefore, that's why it takes me a long time to finish or complete a work. Um, I work in um, basically with uh, canvases that have been um, textured. Um, I love texture of all sorts of things. Sometimes I just go outside and pick things up that I can find and stick it on the canvas, not in this particular case, but I do do that. Um, and then, of course, it's also about, um, I like shapes and, um, and also whimsicality, and I think that comes from the inside out. I paint from the inside out. Uh, I'm not all serious. I'm also whimsical, I guess, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's what's in my art. That's about it. Thank you. Taylor. Uh, my name is George Antella, and my work is in the third room as well. Two, two ladies in, in a form, a collage. strange and interesting collage form of dress. I was lucky enough when I came to L.A. to find myself the most amazing, spiritual, talented uh, teacher. Her name is Larissa, <laughs> and she has inspired me no end. I used to be in the fashion business. And I used fashion in, 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 in collage in a different way because I think that fashion is a way that women both show themselves off or hide behind. And you learn a lot when you see what another person is wearing and the way in which, at least in that way, they're free to express themselves. And their dress can tell you a lot. And I love to see different styles, different colors, and the women trying to relate to each other and read the other person via how they look. So that's what my art is. Thank you. Sandy Cooper, for art in the second room, the silhouettes of women, one and three. Yes. So it's my crazy girlfriend series. Um, <laughs> and it's very reflective of the friends I have in Los Angeles. I'm not originally from Los Angeles, but I have a lot of friends. I paint, um, Lark represents me, and I paint uh, under several names. I paint male nude erotica under the name Richard Johnson, and I paint uh, a children's character, Rachel Vega. So if you go on the internet and look for Rachel Vega, you'll see my work there. And that's it. And I've just published a book, a self-published book, Multifarious, and it talks about uh, my designs in jewelry. I'm a graduate gemologist. So it talks about my designs in jewelry and the different names that I paint. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> small delicate pieces here, but she also paints big, beautiful pieces. Do you paint or you? I do. Uh, I just got connected with Lark a short time ago, and it just uh, her whole philosophy speaks to what I'm about. I think that I started out as a Southwest oil and watercolor painter, and then I started doing collage. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that that is my essence. So I'm a mixed media collage artist. Uh, I do mostly abstract work, uh, and I'm very connected to the environment. So I have found within the last few years that unless I'm passionate about something, I really am not interested in working. So my this is part of a quite a large series that we I guess are calling echo art now. And I started watching wild birds nesting online about a year ago. And I saw how, two years ago, I saw how, how hard they work to raise their young. And then we had the BP oil spill. And all, a lot of the birds I was watching I knew would be migrating to that area. And 
Um, so I started doing a series about uh, southern migration. So these two little pieces here are part of that. Um, I also am about to publish a book. It's ready to go <clears throat> on a Yellowstone wolf. Uh, it's a collaborative work. I found a nature essayist uh, who wrote, um, who goes to Yellowstone, and it was about Yellowstone wolf, the first one that was killed in 2009. So it was, um, it became a labor of love, so I used her essay. It turned out she had sponsored the radio collar on this wolf. And I collaged her essay into all of my work. So that's a collaborative <coughs> series that uh, I've never shown that work. It's still sitting there waiting to be a fundraiser or do something. But um, I have to be passionate about what I'm doing. Uh, I also take photographs of my shadow. <laughs> and work that is not here, I do work on transparency, on transparencies. And I call them transparency collages. So that is a whole other body of work. She's a wonderful photographer. She has two photographs in this room and one in the corridor scarves. So, if you can tell a few oh, words sure. about yourself. A few words, okay. I, um, I like to integrate people in their environments. So, I might have a landscape, I might have a portrait, but it's neither. It's really both. And I like the photograph to tell a story and to have beauty and aesthetic to it as well. So, what you see here today is you have a picture of Burma, in Burma, of beautiful temples in the background, and two bathers, two indigenous people, ladies who live there who bathe in the water. And there they are in the foreground. And there's one uh, out in the hallway of women with scarves because they're sitting, thank you, they're sitting uh, at the wall. They are looking out across the ocean. And you can only imagine the contemplative moment that they're having. It's a very repressive society for women. So when they're looking out over the ocean, you can only imagine what they're <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 